live from the Northeast Comedy Cabaret, it's Back to the Humor, with your host, Josh Jackaboo. Let's get to our next guest, everybody, Stephen Miller Miller. I have to tell you, that's the first time anyone called me Steven since my last court proceeding, so, yeah. Oh! No, 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 people call me Steven, it's fine. Oh, it's, it's not Steven. No, it's not. I, don't, I, you know, I have no idea what your name is, like, you can tell me anything and I'd believe it right now. My name is, no, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. The reason let's I'm, keep it anonymous, it'll be like a glory hole. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, no, the reason why I do this is because Stephen Bryant, he doesn't like the people call him Steve, so I, that's why I'm pretty sure I do sophisticated. What's his deal? I don't know, he likes to be called Steven. It's more downtrodden for a black person called the... Uh, oh, oh, he's black. I was going to say, like, he's either black or he's gay. Cause, you know. Both? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, they're gone. They're, yeah, they're, 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 they're gone. gone. They're gone, Randy. Chris Hayes did it. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that'll happen. So, that's not nice. Uh, so, uh, you're a gay guy? All day. Gay yeah, all day? <laughs> he don't like the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I've been there. I mean, whatever. Oh, you had that sex with a Yeah, of course. So did you? Do that? So did you? Did you immediately put your uh, penis in a Bruno and realize that wasn't for you? <laughs> well, here was the deal. So it was like a slow unveiling. When I was 13 years old, there was a girl named Missy Friedman who gave me five dollars to finger Leave her. Leave that out. No. <laughs> who gave me five dollars? to Hi, Missy. Who gave me five dollars to finger her on the back of the school bus? And I did it. Like I reached through this like batch of pubic hair, and like the five dollar, and like the five dollars stuck to my hand. Whatever. Right. And, um, <laughs> Now, Cleveland Magazine says she's the number one young attorney in Cleveland. You know what else she's up to these days? What? Ignoring my friend request on Facebook. Yeah! yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Jesus. what she's up to. But I yeah, so there was that. And yeah, fuck that. They're gone. Uh, and then I also uh, made the beast with two backs with a couple of Mormon gals back in Ohio. <laughs> they were making time, you see. Oh, uh, you're so quite a character. You're quite a character. Am I? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah. High five. All, all day. I got AIDS. No. no. Ah. <laughs> it's not nice. No, you got AIDS from when I raw dogged you in the bathroom. Before the oh! oh. oh. That, that's where from the AIDS came. That's what it is. <laughs> so, like, uh, gay guys know how to dress. Uh, but I look like a thrift store mannequin come to life. That's your question. Yeah, if you're if you in a store, I would think you're the assistant manager. I'm like, excuse me, sir, what, what aisle's the... Uh, I don't know where that joke was going. I'm obviously, but yeah, don't worry about it. I'm just no, but uh, talk about that. It's like a, it's a nice being. I don't know that question. You, you don't know. Okay, all right. I don't know you. I'm sorry. I'm trying to think of things on top of the head. You, you want to hear the Korean word? Want me to disregard that question and yeah. say the Korean word for dick? Yeah. It's chaji. Chaji. And, and let me tell you that in my day, I have seen more chaji than the urinal mints at an SAT test prep center. <laughs> <laughs> So you did, you did a show in um, Taboo. That's more, that's more of a that's in a gay neighborhood. Oh, I didn't do a show. I did a death trap in Taboo. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Uh, well, there's this show called Sketch Playground. All right. Uh, and it's it's the it's the, like one of the most terrible shows ever to exist. I co-produce it. You should go. It's uh it's every other Wednesday on Taj now, uh, which is at what? Where did, what is it, Dan? Twelfth of Locust. Fuck that. That's not a, no the new place. It's an eighth and fifth one. I asked him a question. He didn't answer me. It's twelfth and. He cop. gave an answer I didn't like. Yeah. It's twelfth and cop the opposite way of Bruno Street. Yeah. <laughs> so. You're walking away from Bruno into Coxtown. That's what you're doing there. Yeah. So like, what? Who are you comedy influence? You like that comedian? And I don't find that guy funny. No, he's not funny. Oh, okay. All right. So let me exp let me explain something about gay folk to you. Uh, having a funny gay man is like having. You know, a black mathematician. Like, it happens, but come on. Uh, and, like, anytime you get a gay comedian, like, they come on stage and, like, they always, like, they stand there, they, they, like, they live in New York, so they instantly think they're better than you. And they think that what you're gonna find funny is a story about them going and shopping with their female friends, or a story about them fucking someone in a cornfield that they thought they were better than. Thank you! I'm, you know, I'm Steven. Dee! Good night. Yeah, yeah. fuck that. Well, yeah. I, I do that sort of thing, and that's why that's why gay audiences don't like me, and I don't like that. And that's why at the Gamerhood Games coming up, I'm going to bomb and probably be banned from the establishment. But it'll, a good time will be had by all. Awesome. So, how much of your material in your act would you say is gay related? Is it little or only about like 130 percent? Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. Solid, solid one thirty. Solid, a solid one thirty. All right. 
Yeah, because yeah, because there's something like Ant, for example, he does all game material. Like he do something like uh, uh, well, yeah, woman, yeah, uh, woman like there's like sandwiches, but I like a manwich. The, the like single, the single happiest gay comedian joke you can tell, and I've heard Ant tell it before, is. You know, gay men like some women. I mean, Cher, Madonna, Lady Gaga. Am I right? <laughs> or, as soon as I hear a gay comedian do that, my 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 wrist get slicer's itch. <laughs> no, but uh, another uh, gay hacky joke is, uh, uh, yeah. So I'm gay. You didn't need Scooby Doo to solve that mystery. Yeah, that. <laughs> ah, ah, fuck me. My side just split. Uh, okay, I never, like Google again after this interview. Nice bomb. I can arrange that. No, it's just, uh, no, I don't think you would because women don't even want to fuck me and they say gay guys have a higher standard. Well, I, well, I don't want to fuck you. Yeah. Yo, come back when you're Korean and we'll talk. But, like, what was that word again for penis? Chaji. Chaji. Chaji do if you want to be all formal. When I have a smaller Chaji, I'll come back. That's not even the word. What do you mean when? Anyway. Uh, this is, uh, so you're doing some comedy cabaret uh, you do some more, uh, shows here? Yeah, every, day, every night I don't have a sketch playground. I come here. All right. That's the thing. So what can we expect from you? You're very funny on stage. I've seen you perform one time, but uh, what can we expect from you uh, as far as comedy? What, what, wasn't that the time back then? Well, like I said, I'm doing this competition. Uh, my show, Sketch Playground, is a good show. You can expect that show to get better and better. We just moved into a better establishment. Dan Vetrano is here. He co-produces it with me. Uh, uh, mark the date, because this marks the first time anybody ever uh, denoted happiness when the name of Dan Toronto <laughs> was announced. Uh, so yeah, the show's got my show, performing all over the place, getting my fair share of Chaji. You know how it is. Oh, all right. Well, thank you so much. You're very funny. Yeah, Stay everybody. That's it. We're back next time.